Hello Geminis, this is your reading for June 15th through the 30th. Let's see what's going on in love for you guys for the remainder of the month. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What's going on with my Geminis? Let's see. Strength, Leo energy there. Mm, I feel like there's something that you guys have been struggling with or there is really a Leo that is significant to you guys. Um, it's like there's something that I feel you've been struggling with for a while, but it's, it's you're overcoming something right now. Um, whether you're finding the strength to reach out, whether you are controlling your, um, your urges, whether that is like, you know, getting easily angered or easily provoked here. Um, hmm. Maybe sexual urges as well for some of you. What's challenging you here is a Queen of Cups energy. Huh. I feel like there's somebody that is... Um, this challenging you literally right now this is cancer energy here um, this is also somebody that you feel like may not necessarily be playing hard to get but this person is definitely um, bringing a challenge to your door okay I feel like this person is open to love. This person just does not wear their heart on their sleeve. And this person is not open and willing to give their affection to just anybody. Okay. Um, I feel like you guys are very attracted to this person. This person comes across as reserved. You're getting a lot of information here. Um, and, and you're like really trying to, to hold back uh, these urges because I'm getting like this this animal attraction for this individual okay um hmm. let's see what is the underlying issue here the page of pentacles um maybe things are moving just a tad too slowly for you guys here uh things are not progressing as fast as you would like for them to now all in all you feel like this is a situation that could be very um, stable, very productive even for you guys. Like this is something that could really grow into something uh, su substantial that could be long lasting. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy there. Okay. But it is moving kind of slow for you. I feel like this person is not giving up the goods easily. Okay, let's see what that is. The recent past. The recent past is the High Priestess. Maybe there's somebody that uh, you guys have been involved with that this person does not know about. Um, and maybe this person has this this um, this alluring aspect to them and there's a lot that you don't know about this person but that you want to know about this person very attractive individual I feel both mentally and physically to you emotionally for you this person is is almost drawing you in magnetically to them I feel like if there was somebody in your past I feel like you guys are pulling away from that and being drawn to this Queen of Cups and leaving this this other individual um, in the past. Okay, let's see what your crowning thoughts are. Gemini is crowning. Oh, a lot of stuff wanting to come out here. Huh. Crowning thoughts of the Three of Pentacles building on something here compromising in a situation giving your all to a situation Capricorn energy this is what you're thinking about this could really be something long-lasting this could be a situation where both of you are um, receiving what you need from the other person here 
Net Three of Pentacles energy. What's coming in for my Gemini's? Ten of Wands. It's going to take a lot of work. It's a lot of effort to make this work. It really is. This is not going to be any small feat for you. If you want it, you're going to have to go and get it. It's what I'm seeing here. This person is not easily won over. So whereas, you know, other situations, other um, relationships may have come a little more uh, smoothly, this one is going to require a lot of effort, okay? But anything worth having, you know, you may have to fight to get there. Let's see how you're viewing this situation. That is Taurus energy with that Ten of Wands. Now you're viewing this situation as the Eight of Wands. You feel like things are progressing. They're moving forward. You guys are communicating. Loving messages. Loving feelings. Hmm. I like it. There's a lot of change happening here. A lot of transformation, I feel. Things are culminating. Things are coming to a head. I feel like you're wearing this person down with whatever it is that you guys are doing. You are determined and they feel it and they see it. Okay? What is the influence for my Geminis? The Nine of Swords. Huh. Either this person is overthinking things or you guys are kind of like getting in your own head right now. Maybe you feel like you're working a little too hard. Something that you're not really used to. You know, maybe things are not coming naturally to you as they usually do. But um, I feel like you're doing a lot of overthinking. An overactive imagination. Maybe you guys are feeling like, you know, this is just not going to work. This is too much for me. This person is way over the top. This person needs this from me. They want that from me. I cannot handle this. Or either this is the other person feeling this way. Hmm. Some of you are, are really feeling like, you know, you want to give up. Some of you are wanting to give up in this situation here. It's, um, it's too challenging for you. It's too serious for some of you. But I see that you're wanting to, to really build something here. You're going back and forth. You're in two minds. That is such a Gemini um, trait here. Because on one hand, you see something really significant in this person. And you want to build upon it. On the other hand, you know, you're feeling like, wait a minute. You know, I'm doing way too much to get this person's attention. I'm doing way too much to please this person here. Uh-uh. I, I, I probably need to just move on and give up for some of you but all in all you still feel this pull back to this person here hmm. you're in two minds right now even though the two of swords is not here it's like you float back and forth between giving up and being all in okay because there is a strong pull towards this individual let's see what your hopes or fears are the five of wands leo energy conflict strong fire energy i feel aries leo sagittarius energy is here could definitely be um cancer as well capricorn pisces but strong fire um in your reading okay but um you guys are afraid to you know not get on the same accord with this person that this person is not going to share in the effort with you to make this relationship work 
Okay. Hmm. What is the overall for my Gemini's? Hmm. Wow. We have death there. There's Scorpio energy. And of course, death is all about endings, but it's also about transformation. I feel that there's something so very strongly pulling you towards this person. And I think that it's something different than what you've experienced before. Whereas before, you know, you're able to kind of like, when things are not suitable for you, you you're actually able to let things go fairly easy and move on to the next thing. I feel like you're changing. I feel like you're, you're transforming into this individual, this person that is not so easily just to let things go and be done with things. You're actually coming to a point where you are willing to do what it takes to make things work to make things work out to put the effort in so I do see an ending to the conflict I see an ending to the overthinking I see an ending to you guys putting in all the effort by yourself I see this person meeting you halfway this situation is definitely transforming as we speak and the latter half of this month on into July and maybe August, I see you guys really doing your part in the other person as well. Okay, so we have Capricorn, Scorpio, Leo, Sagittarius, um, I feel Aries is here. <clears throat> Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, I think I already said Capricorn, uh, Piscean Energy, and Cancer is here. So that is what I have for you guys, and I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.